A mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, is working to clear Gregory, and his actions interfere with the Eagle's plans. Agents of the Eagle, by a clever frame-up, brand Craig as the mysterious skywriter. And Gregory's daughter, Jean, believing that Craig has betrayed her father, orders the carnival workers to execute the judgment of the carnival upon him. Take him outside. We may be mistaken, Jean. Hadn't we better stop them before it's too late? He's guilty. Let them peg him off. Hey, what do you mean by impersonating a man? Impersonating? Why, you big flat foot, I am a man. Yeah? Yeah. McCoy will never do any more double crossing. You'd better go. One year part of you and I will... Why, McCoy, I thought you were... Got a little business with him later. It's worked. They're gone. And the cop jumped in his car and went after Billy. I ducked in here. Daddy! That was a clever trick you pulled, Gene. It worked, didn't it? Yes, but it had me scared for a while. I thought it was on the square. Look! Hey, 
Here's the one who framed me, and he's working with the Eagle. And beat it, quick. The cops come back, and he's headed this way. Oh, hide somewhere. Here, I'll hear, quick. Go. Go on. Hey, listen. If that cop comes back in here, you get rid of him or... Have you seen Gregory? No. Say, what are you hanging around here for? I have to stay here. What do you mean you have to? I'm a private detective. Hired to watch Gregory. I've got to stay here and uh, pick up his trail. Good. You stay here and nab him if he shows up. I'll go over and watch that airplane. The Skyrider will be back for it sooner or later. Okay. That was good work, Henry. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was nothing at all, Skipper. If he'd have squawked, I sure would have plugged him. Where are you? Well, I'm glad you didn't kill him. He's of more value to us alive than dead. He can tell us who the eagle is. I'm telling nothing. Come on, speak up. Who is the eagle? I don't know. Come on, Gardner, you can't get away with that bluff. I'll say he can't. No, not that way. Oh, let me break him a little. No, let him go. He'll talk before he gets out of here. Hello. Better get that plane out of the way before the cops find it. Speeding. Driving on the wrong side of the street. Not guilty. Cutting corners. Not guilty. Reckless driving, Anne. What's this? Resisting an officer? Who, me? Guilty as charged. Getting rough with the police department is a very serious offense, young man. This will cost you ten dollars. It's worth twice as much to get a smack at that big hawk. By the way, you have a friend of mine here named Pat Kelly. How did chance of paying him a visit? Kelly? The guy that killed Clark? <laughs> the guy you think killed Clark. Well, I guess you can see him. Take him out, Donald. It's good to see you, big boy. How's everything about the carnival? Everything's okay, and old boy, are you a hero? Who, me? You taking a rap for killing Clark so Craig could be loose to investigate you has made you stand eight high. Ah, gee, Billy. Any of us would give his right arm for the skipper. What's the matter, Callahan? You look as if you've seen a ghost. I think I did. Did any of you ever hear of a plane flying without a... A pilot? Why, the government's experimenting with radio-controlled planes. 
Radio. That's it. Listen, there were a lot of gadgets in the cockpit. So you think Gardner was in on the killing, do you? Yes, Gardner and two other guys. Who were they? I don't know. I've never seen them before. One wore a crushed hat, and the tall guy had on a light cap. Mm, that sounds like Moore and Boyle. Can you prove it on them? Well, knowing it and being able to prove it is two different things. This sounds like a hot lead. I gotta get busy. So long, Kelly. I'll be seeing you. So long, big boy. If Callahan ain't dreaming, those sky messages are being written by a radio control plane. I don't know anything about radio, but I seen that plane fly without a pilot. It's up to us to find out where it's operated from. Well, it's not from the carnival grounds. I've been over that with a fine tooth comb. It's no use. We can't get anything out of him. Hello? Yes? This is Billy. I got some big news for you. What? Radio? Moran Boyle, too, eh? Well, that's great work, Billy. Well, I guess you won't have to talk now unless you want to. Little Billy's found out plenty about your gang. There is one thing you can do for us. Call Moran Boyle. Wouldn't I be a price sap to do any phoning for you? <laughs> so you won't do it, huh? Of course I won't do it. Say, I've got a great idea. Listen to this. Wouldn't I be a price sap to do any phoning for you? Of course I won't do it. <laughs> Perfect. Call him up. Well, I wonder what's keeping guard. Hello, this is Boyle. It's Gardner. I got pretty badly banged up, but I've got some important information. What is it? Okay, we'll wait. He's been hurt. Hurt? He was afraid to talk over the phone, but he's on his way here. <laughs> they fell for it. <laughs> Great. Get the first aid kit, will you please, Gene? All right, Gardner, off with the coat. You two birds, wait in there. I want to talk to these fellows alone. Well, what happened? I was trying to make a getaway with Gregory when the carnival crowd jumped me. Well, they sure wrecked you. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive. That confounded ventriloquist tried to shoot me. Well, how'd you get away? Never mind that. We've got to get busy. McCoy knows that you two were in on the shooting of Clark. You mean he knows who fired the shot? I think so. Then we've got to stop McCoy. We better phone the Eagle. He may have a better plan. You do it. Hello. This is Boyle. Who? Why, it can't be. Never mind, go ahead. I'm a prisoner at the carnival. Gregory is still here. Yeah, I get it. Give me the police station. Hello, police. You'll find Gregory at his carnival. Yeah, I'm positive he's there. And the show people are holding a prisoner, a uh, Mr. Gardner. Hold it. Sit down. Take off his phony bandages. Hold 
Sorry, Moore. Come on, let's get out of here, Henry. Down the fire escape. We can beat him by the stairs. Step on it, Craig. Step on it. We're not gaining on them. Take a shot at their tires. 